welcome back to my channel. So today I had a few things I wanted to tackle, just organizing a couple parts of my kitchen and also taking down some winter decor. I'm just honestly tired of seeing it. I'm ready for just kind of a fresh, neutral decor until spring hits. So one of the first things I did is I got rid of my Christmas soaps that were by my sink and I'm using this one from Grove. Um, they actually have a hand soap as well but this is the dish soap and I've been using it for the last couple days because this was filmed a few days ago and it is amazing. So as always there's a link in the description bar for you guys to get a lot of free products with your first order from Grove. So this was the biggest area I really needed to tackle was like our food storage. I really don't have a pantry so it's always a challenge for me to figure out how I'm going to store our food and there was a lot of things to be honest that were in there for a very long time so I was looking for outdated stuff and stuff that we just simply don't use. There's a lot of that as well. So I washed this out and put some of it back in that I wanted to organize and put into jars and things while I moved on to the next cabinet so I didn't leave it like that. I just put the food back in there for the moment. And then I went to this cabinet and got out all of these canisters. I used to do a eating style that was a little bit different. It had a lot of um, extra ingredients that you needed for different kinds of um, recipes and things and I don't eat that way anymore. So this stuff has literally been sitting in my cabinet for months, a very long time, and just needed to be taken care of and I didn't want to use this organizational system with these big jars for now. So I just washed them all up and took them down to our canning shelves in our basement and if you keep seeing the camera moving, it's just my little ones. They were moving my tripod around while I was washing these jars up. And then I took everything down to my canning shelves and started to put everything into jars that I wanted in the cabinets, um, things we use on a regular basis. And the way I decided to label these, I debated on getting a labeler, but then I realized that if you use a permanent marker, it actually stays on pretty decently and you can wash the jar and just scrub it off with some dish soap. So I decided to go with that method um, just because I had a permanent marker and I didn't have a label maker and didn't really want to take the time to go to the store to get one. So this is what I decided to do and I think it'll work best just because then as I change things out of these jars, I can just wash it off and use something different. And then I have this bin in the other cabinet where I'm putting all of those bags and some other bins like you see with these baking ingredients that I moved around. I just decided to put the baking ingredients into jars instead of having them inside of those little cubies and then I can use those for snacks and other things like that. So this had been a pretty big mess, I'm not gonna lie. And as you can see, I have a magnetic system on the door, but um, I just needed some bigger jars to put my stuff into, so I decided to do a mixture of the magnetic things on the door and jars. And this cabinet has been a catch-all. It's been a really big mess. I had all of my tumblers down in there and it just, they were just getting thrown in there and they were not being kept orderly. So I decided to put them in a bin and we'll see how that system works. And then I went back to this kind of catch-all cupboard and just weeded out things that we really were not using. There was a lot of small appliances that I wasn't using that are getting shipped off to the thrift store. And so I just decided to put everything in here that um, 
yeah, that we actually use. And then down in here, there was jars. There was a bunch of things mixed in with my cookware. So I just weeded all of those random things out. And then this was the next day. And this is my coffee bar, which I do use for a good amount of storage, as you're gonna see. And again, it was just getting dumped around. You know how it is with your kitchen. It feels like about every six months, you have to go through, reorganize, get rid of things you're not using. <laughs> it's just a very constant thing to keep up with. So again, I went back to the jar idea. I'm really thinking this is gonna work out well just because I have so many jars and as I need to put some away or add some to where I'm storing jars for different ingredients or things that are floating around that need a place to go, I think it's gonna be my most flexible solution. So I'll let you guys know, I'll keep you updated on whether or not I feel like it's working well for my kitchen. And again, just putting away a lot of winter decor, getting ready to just go into a neutral season for a little while. And then I just kind of went through these drawers. They were pretty much cleaned out as far as decluttered, but there was a few things that needed to be pulled out and sent off to the thrift store. So I just weeded those things out. Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna show you what all I got done. I took the winter decor out of here. I'm just simplifying everything until spring decor hits. So everything's just very simple looking. Um, same with everything over here. Just very clean and simple looking. So I'm gonna show you what I did. There are some areas I did not hit just because they're pretty much organized. If you guys wanna go back and look at my last kitchen organizational video, you can probably see what I did. Um, but up here, I just have a lot of space where if I ha want to put more things in jars, I can. And I just used um, the marker on everything. And then things that didn't fit in a quart size jar, I actually put a second one behind it. Um, just because that was the best solution for what I was doing. And then this here has my canned goods in it. And um, yeah, this stuff is just very, very, very simplified. There was a lot of stuff that we weren't using or that was pretty much out of date. And so um, that's why it looks very empty over there. And then up here, I just left space for like my cereal boxes and bags. I feel like that those things always need space and I'm always trying to shove them in and I decided to just dedicate this whole cabinet up here to doing that so that um, we're not having traffic jams constantly. And then this was my biggest, biggest tackle that I had. Um, I went through here and I had had kind of like chalkboard labels on all of these. I ripped them all off and I'm using just the Sharpie idea. The same with the glass is that it does come off um, if I just like scrub it really good or use a Mr. Clean eraser. So I got um, baking things up here. These little guys actually hold my like flavorings and stuff. Um, and then everything else I put into jars and labeled. It's just so much more cleaner and I can actually fit some of the like the onion powder and garlic powder the whole entire container when I buy it doesn't fit in these so it was great to have stuff that would fit into like have a jar that everything would fit into okay so in this cupboard I had had a bunch of vitamins and stuff and I decided I'm going to actually transfer that stuff to the closet that's in our bathroom so that's gonna be another organizational video at some point so now I just have these two bins one of them holds like tea and coffee like carriers um, tumblers and things like that and then this one was desperately needed it's just their cups and then all the lids and it was just a disastrous mess in here and um, just needed to be put into like one container the next cupboard um, there's nothing up there yet I didn't really know what I wanted to put up there but the this this rack thing right here and then the one in here they're both from Ikea just if you guys are curious so I put the girls bowls 
and plates and their bowls and plates are from Target. I'm going to try to answer as much of this stuff as I can so that I'm not getting comments and questions and you guys just know. So um, yeah, so that's all put in there because what was happening is I was trying to put all this stuff and their cups in this area and it was making quite a jam up and then you guys saw me move these plates back over here they were in the dining room and then these are just um, bowls and plates this is stuff we use on the regular basis and I did not get this cleaned up yet it is a winter decor piece um, but I'm gonna be doing like a neutral decorating video I think of like just what I'm decorating with for between winter and spring and then this is just the cups that I use on a regular basis every day Day. and down here um, I moved some things around and just got rid of stuff I mean I got rid of like our waffle iron um, just some other things so there's the blender a pitcher my a regular crock pot I do have an instapot which I store in the closet by our front door um, and then just kind of went through and got the stuff that I really do use on a pretty regular basis and got them out of this um, Lazy Susan over here. I really do not like Lazy Susans. I don't know if you guys do, but I really don't like them. They're very inconvenient, and I actually almost left this just completely empty, but I found a use for it. It's not going to look pretty, but <laughs> um, I am just putting like lids and jars in here because they I need a place for them to go whenever they haven't made it down to the canning shelves in our basement and sometimes I mean I do use these for drinks and things so I just needed something where it doesn't I mean I have a lot of space and I can just stick them all in here and um, if one falls off it's not a big deal it just yeah it worked out really well for that then down here everything stayed pretty similar to what it was I do have some space that's open now um, I love my command hooks in under my sink I have my silicone bibs that I use for the girls hanging on command hooks here I have the pot holders and then in here is just like my cutting boards and a couple dishes then over here I just simplified my decor because I put away a bunch of my winter stuff I had brought in like that shelf that was corrugated metal um, and I brought in a lot of metals during winter time and so I'm just cleaning that out so this is kind of my neutral of what I'm gonna do for the moment and this dresser was something I got for five dollars at a yard sale and I've repainted it a couple times um, it does need repainted right now because there's coffee stains and stuff up here but um, down here is if you guys saw is just kind of where I keep ziplocs and then on the bottom I keep containers I just kind of weeded some things out um, I didn't really change like how it was organized but I did change the top drawer and in here I have an empty space and then extra coffee cups and this is mainly tea making stuff um, like in here is the honey and cinnamon sticks and then my different types of tea that I use on a regular basis my collagen I mix into my coffee when I'm drinking coffee so I just yeah just got it very simplified I'm really happy with it I love 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 minimalism so yeah this is where I'm gonna leave you guys <laughs> with the kit state of the kitchen for now um, like I said I'm gonna be doing a decor video very soon of just like kind of neutral decor um, and I'll just point out a couple things here really quick that picture came from my grandma this towel because I get questions about stuff all the time is from the Target dollar spot the big cutting boards from Ikea these guys are actually from Michaels the rod they're on is from Ikea though um, this is from the Target dollar spot this is from Amazon and if I can remember I'll link this for you guys the Jut runner because it's a very good price the last I checked those are just a couple things in here the tension rods from Walmart I've had that question these are actually like flower sacks um, hanging up there and the little stand with my soap on it is from Hobby Lobby so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video a like for me and I'll see you in my next video